please subscribe our channel and turn on the bell icon for best baby product reviews. When you were a kid, what was more important than playing? Nothing. Hey, I'm Courtney. Today, we're gonna play with the new Room Squared from Juvie. I love this play yard. It is huge. Just look at the size of it. Plus, it'll look great in your house. With an area of 10 square feet, the Room Squared has so much space. In fact, it can easily fit multiple kids, making playdates more fun for children and relaxing for us, if you know what I mean. After all, sometimes you do have to take a shower. The Room Squared is strong, safe, and stable, and it's great both indoors and outdoors. And it has large mesh windows, so visibility is phenomenal. It comes with a great padded mattress and included a cotton fitted sheet that's very, very soft. Extra sheets are available for purchase and they're machine washable. As a plus, the Room Squared folds down into the included travel bag, making it easy to take it wherever you want to go. I'm Courtney, thanks for playing. See you later. I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at the Guava Pack and Play. Um, so this is a foldable pack and play. Um, it folds up into a really compact unit. It's about maybe a foot and a half tall um, by about two feet wide once it's folded. Um, so it's a great travel pack and play uh, for when you're able to travel with your kid. And um, it folds out into this very stable unit. Um, I've got it out here on my balcony. It's a nice smaller pack and play to easily fold up and then to put outside and keep your kit in. But it also works great, again, as a travel uh, pack and play because it does fold so small. Um, it's got this sort of shape where these legs fold out and then they become very supportive. You can see even though it's relatively small and again it does fold very small, it's very sturdy. Um, even if they're standing up on the side, they're probably not going to knock that over. And the overall quality of the construction feels really good. This is quite soft. Uh, it's padding these um, probably metal or plastic um, legs underneath here and um, it definitely provides a good solid base. And I like that it kind of uh, expands out on the inside. It almost has a triangular shape between the two legs because that seems to give a lot more space inside of the pack and play here um, and uh, you know plenty of room for your, your toddler even to hang out and use this as a play yard as they get a little bit bigger. If you want to have a safe place to put them down maybe in a hotel room uh, that's not uh, been child proofed. It has little instructions that are permanently attached and as you can see here, to, to uh, fold it up, it's very simple. You flip it over um, and you basically fold those legs in, uh, take the interior out and those go in and then it becomes this, uh, again, very compact unit. Um, and there's another one on the other side here that walks you through the opposite procedure of setting it up where you basically just fold the legs out. Um, there's a clip that holds the middle part in and then you just fold this out and put the uh, pack and play bottom into it. So this is, bottom here and you can put a sheet on it. I've just got uh, it open here but you can put a sheet on it to protect that over time. So you know if you need a safe place for your kid to sleep while you're traveling or like I do here I use it outside because uh, it's not really possible to travel that much right now. I use it outside on my balcony and it makes a great uh, smaller you know less uh, less space that it takes up. It's more compact um, but still provides a nice safe and easy to move place for your kid to be outside. So that is the Guava uh, Travel Pack and Play. Definitely my best choice for a uh, travel pack and play if you want to have that when you're traveling around.